So the Apple Pencil Pro has just officially came out and I went ahead and got my hands on it and I will tell you I like the Apple Pencil Pro and I want to compare it against the Apple Pencil's second generation and see which particular Apple Pencil is a better one for you. Now I will definitely tell you for the most part if you're buying either one of these Apple Pencils you can't really go wrong with either one but the second generation one is a little bit older but it's a little bit cheaper than the Apple Pencil Pro but you can also buy an Apple Pencil 2 in the used market for a little bit cheaper than the Apple Pencil 2 in the brand new market. So keep that in mind if you want to pick up either the Pencil 2 or the Pencil Pro links will be down in the description. You can get that from there and you can help support the channel at the same exact time. Now starting off with the outside of both these pencils, they're both relatively kind of the same exact type of pencil layout for the most part. You know, the only, really the only way you can tell which one is which really is if you look at the tip of the Apple Pencil, you can see that one will say Apple Pencil and one will say Apple Pencil Pro, or it will have the Apple logo and then the Pencil or Pencil Pro. So that's really the main difference you can tell. I think the size, maybe there's a little bit difference in the size and the feeling, but just by looking at it visually, that's the main difference you can probably tell. They both have, you know, the flat side to it. They both have the removable tip at the end as well. So you're still getting a pretty good feeling, you know, Apple Pencil for the most part, which is actually very, very nice. So this end of itself is a very cool thing going on for both. And I never really complained about the design of either one for the most part. Now, some similarities between them. They have pixel perfect precision, so you can write, sketch, and draw with precision. They have low latency and they have tilt sensitivity as well. And they're pressure sensitive. So you can go through whether you're drawing on it or whatever on an iPad screen, you can go through and have that type of capability which is constantly having that pressure sensitivity and tilt sensitivity, which is actually a very, very cool thing. Both of them can attach magnetically to your particular iPad, and both of them have wireless pairing and charging. So if you're going through and you want to wireless pair and charge your particular device, you can go and do that within your particular Apple Pencil, which is a very cool thing. Now they also support Apple Pencil Hover, so you can preview what you're marking before you make it, and they both have that little side thing at the end where you can double tap to change tools. Now. Those are basically the main similarities between them. I will probably say they're like 80 to 85% similar for the most part, but there are some key differences here for the most part as well that you probably want to go and take note of. For one, the barrel roll, which is a way that you can rotate the barrel to change the orientation of the shaped pen and brush tools on your particular Apple Pencil, you're going to be getting that on the Apple Pencil Pro where you are not getting that on the Apple Pencil 2. Is that a big deal? For me personally, that would not be a big deal for me at all. But if you're an artist and if you're a drawer or you're painting something on your iPad, that's a really nice feature to have. And that can actually give you a lot more, I guess, like flexibility in the way you're drawing versus just always being one way on the Apple Pencil too. On top of that, you now have this squeeze position or this squeeze like feature on your Apple Pencil Pro, which will allow you to go ahead and open up a palette of different tools that you can choose from on your Apple Pencil. So if you squeeze it on the side at the very end, what you can do then is you can go and pull it up on your particular iPad and it's going to show up this like a little like you know, preview of uh, different tools and things you can you know, utilize. And that's another really cool thing that you can kind of, you know, mess with as well. And that's a really awesome thing. The craziest thing though, that the Apple Pencil 2 and no other Apple Pencil had this before is that the Apple Pencil Pro is giving you haptic feedback. This is something that is so cool and it's just insane to me that this thing has it. The Apple Pencil will now actually vibrate whenever you're messing around with it. This is such a crazy thing for me. I didn't was not expecting this at all. So now our Apple Pencil, our Apple Pencil Pro, will now have this haptic feedback where it will just vibrate constantly, not constantly, but it will vibrate, you know, for just different things and notifications whenever you're messing with it. And this again in and of itself is another super cool thing going on for this particular Apple Pencil when it comes down to it. And finally, another big thing and something I've seen a lot of people complain about was that with the Apple Pencil 2 and every Apple Pencil, if you lost it, it was very hard to find it. But now our Apple Pencil Pro can now be linked up to our Find My application. So now what you can do is if you ever lose your Apple Pencil Pro, you can open up the Find My application and you should be able to find that particular Apple Pencil within your Find My app, just like how you can find an iPhone or AirPods or an AirTag. You'll now be able to find your Apple Pencil that way as well. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you, I like the Apple Pencil Pro and I think it is a really good upgrade for coming from the Pencil 2. If you're somebody who uses the Apple Pencil a lot, the Pencil Pro is a very good upgrade and I do think this is a very, very good way of going up to that Pencil coming from the Apple Pencil second generation. I'll say though, if none of the things that I told you sound good to you or you even care about it, then stick with the Apple Pencil 2. That's probably a better deal for the average person, but I do think something like the Apple Pencil Pro might be the better one for the average person, you know, for if you have the money to buy it. So 
that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.